Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. Um, I want to give a big shout out to those who have really encouraged me and has told me to keep going on this YouTube journey. I believe it will be a fruitful one. I've got a few topics that I want to speak to you about and they consist of the following topics. So the first one is motivational talks, which I will speak about in the near future. The Christian faith, relationships, friendships, favourite makeup products, fashion tips and so much more. Please like, share and subscribe and I hope to hear from you very soon. This is just a brief video, it's not a, a tutorial or anything chitty chatty but it's just, just to welcome everyone back and to let everyone know that I'm back. <laughs> oh yes, also just to let those know, I got my outfit from Primark. This skirt is from Dorothy Perkins, necklace is from Dorothy Perkins. My shoes, can't really see them but they're like dolly shoes, they're from Zara and my chats are from Primark. So as I said, please like, share and subscribe as it is highly appreciated and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. As human beings, we tend to limit ourselves by our circumstances or we define ourselves by where we are. And I can witness that because in my previous years, I have always limited myself to where I was, not realizing that where I am, sorry, where I was, is only gonna take me to where I need to be. But I'm gonna show you the book right now and just quickly explain to you what I've learned from it. So this is the book, don't know if you can see it, but honestly, this book is so amazing. And it just talks about how we all have a destiny in life and how we need to work hard to achieve it. But in greater detail, I'll just quickly read what it's about. It says, Remember feeling a pull, sensing a magnetic guide that was leading you to the right place or person? Destiny, that inner compass, directs you to fulfillment of your highest purpose. When you reflect on your life, you may be amazed that your greatest moments resulted from circumstances that you did not control or initiate. You were destined. Stepping into your destiny means fulfilling the role you were created to play in life. You thrive and find the great exilar of contentment when you have the courage to pursue your true purpose. Life offers more when destiny is our focus. Our divine purpose maneuvers us past challenges, pains and shortcuts, and even what appears on the surface to be failure. On deeper reflection, we understand them as, a, as catalysts that shift us towards authentic self-identity, greater exposure, and bold life adventures. Whether you are just starting out, starting over, or wondering if there is greater success than what you've already accomplished, now is the time to reset your inner compass. Clear your path of distractions and disruptions. Correct places where you have veered off course. Get unstuck. Embrace your divine purpose. And with this revelatory guide from T.D. Jakes, dare to pursue the unseen order in your life circumstances that is your destiny so guys please if you haven't got this book i suggest you get it now for those who feel stuck in life they don't really know what path to take maybe there are so many voices that are speaking to them and they don't really know which one to abide by please get this book i mean honestly my sister got this for me and ever since i've read it on the first of january it has changed my perspective so much to always be positive about life and to always just appreciate where you are appreciate your journey because i believe that everyone is in the right place at the right time we may not you know be where we want to be but i'm very thankful that i'm not where i used to be because where i used to be was ridiculous hey guys i don't even know if to sit down or stand for this but i'll leave the chair just in case if i do get a bit tired so today i'm just going to be speaking about a few of my favorite makeup products i will first and foremost start with this Guys, honestly speaking, this Prep and Prime actually does the job. I remember when everyone was talking about it and they were like, oh, I see you don't have Prep and Prime. Da, 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 da. Number one, the price put me off for £16. It's actually £17 now. So in my mind, I was like, okay, I don't want this. But when you're applying your foundation on a sponge or on a foundation brush, it really does dissolve it and it makes it soft to apply. So I would definitely recommend getting this. Uh, another thing is the Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is amazing. It really keeps my face mattified after I apply my foundation. I've got a new one because my old one's nearly finishing. And this is the shade MW43. 
I've got so many other products, guys. Honestly, my foundation is like just over there. But I can't be asked to get it. Um, I've got my bronzer, which I use just to contour my cheeks. Amazing stuff. Um, let's see. And I've got my mineralizer. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I got it from, I think I got it for my birthday, I think. Yeah. And this is it. This is the gold deposit. I use it just mainly for my top cheekbones and my and brow bone as well. That's really shimmery, guys. So don't use too much, please. My goodness, Urban Decay. Goodness me, everyone was ranting on it last year, but I love this so much. I don't use it that much. Um, it's meant to be um, an eyeliner, but this is mainly like when I'm going out or something. I want to have like a special occasion. I don't know if you can see actually, I should be bringing it close to you guys. <laughs> don't know why I'm bringing it so far away. Um, let's see what else is there. I've got the LA Pro Concealer Gold Kit. It is so amazing. I know people say, oh, cheap products aren't always good, but honestly, I, I know how to work cheap products, I tell you. Especially when you're on a budget, girls, I know. It's not always easy. But yeah, this is in the shade form. Hey guys, so um, I'm going to talk to you about my favourite outfits for the season. I love this jumper, my goodness. I got it from Dorothy Perkins. Don't know if it's still on in store, but I know it should still be online. It's more like a jumper dress, but I love it so much. And um, the material is very soft here. At the back, it's quite um, cottony. That's even a word. But um, yeah, I wear these with my um, long high boots, knee high boots. And a really nice chunky necklace so this will look really nice for the season that we're in now i've got another dress that i need to show you this dress is amazing it's funny because i actually wanted to wear this on my 25th birthday but a friend of mine was like oh no Esther, don't wear it you won't stand out it doesn't really look 25 ish uh, so i thought okay but i haven't even worn it yet guys like imagine and um, that's the back as well. It does look really nice on. The skirt's really puffy as well. So when it when it's on, it's really tight on the waist and it comes out on the hips. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. And I love the colour as well. Hopefully if there's a wedding this year, I'll wear it to that. And last but not least, my final dress. Guys, by the way, I've got so many clothes that they're just over there. But honestly, it feels like my wardrobe's back to four, so I wouldn't even bring everything out, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll see it another time. <laughs> and this dress, I got it in the New Year's season sale, actually. I got it in January. And it was £20. So it's not too bad. It was 40 before. And it's from Zara, and I love it so much. Honestly speaking, it doesn't look like a size 10, which medium is meant to be, I suppose. But um, on, it looks amazing. I think one of the videos I'll try and wear it on so you can see it on. But um, I love this so much. And the shoes I'm planning on wearing it with are these. Just gold heels, pito heels. Might look really nice together. Um, but if not, I could wear orange with it, dark blue, navy blue. I've got so many options, guys. But um, yeah, so that's everything for now. I'm going to definitely keep updated on my other videos. These are just quick snippets of what I'm going to be talking about. So it's not about this amazing skin routine that I use. And I wanted to show you the products I actually use as well, but they're all downstairs, but I'll list them down below. So I got this product, I think last year, May, and it took a month to come because it came from America. But I tell you, ever since I've started using it, it has done wonders on my skin. I'm getting compliments from friends, just letting me know how amazing my skin looks and how I've changed drastically. I mean, for those who really know me, you would know my struggle with my skin because I'm a part of my beauty struggles as well. So anyway, it comes with four brushes. Just put that one down. The first one is a cleansing facial brush. I use that in the morning when I'm just tired. Well, tired, waking up in the morning, really. Let me start again. I use that um, every day in the morning when I wake up. The exfoliating facial brush, I use it in the night, so if I'm wearing heavy makeup or any sort of makeup, I'll just take it off with that. Pumice stones for my feet, but my, my feet are not hard, so it's okay. And the body brush I'll hardly use. I mean, I don't really use these two, if I'm honest with you. I'll come close. But yeah, these two I don't use, but I use these two every single day. 
But this, honestly, I would recommend, ladies, if you're struggling with your face, if you've got acne, if you've got large spots, if you just don't like your skin and you've got little blemishes, definitely get this. It says it's 25% off, but um, it might be cheaper online now because I got it last year. Um, but other than that, yeah, products I use is Garnier. I use a Garnier facial gel wash every morning and I just tend to leave that in and leave that on my face for like a minute or two. And then I use this to just like brush it off and it does so much for me, I tell you. I would love to show you a picture of before and now, but I'm not really up to date with all these editing stuff, but eventually I will. And um, what else do I use? I use a toner from Garnier, that's just a take off makeup, and it doesn't smell by the way. Um, for those who've got really sensitive or oily skin, try not to use um, products that have scents or fragrances in them, because it does irritate the skin, but it depends on what skin type you have, of course. And what else do I use? I use... Botanics cream, it's an ever mattifying orange cream and I use it in the day. There's one for the day and one for the night, but I don't really want to get one for the night, so I've only got one for the day. So um it's basically used by itself and it just dissolves in your skin and really dries out all the pores and the oil. Um in the evening, my goodness, I do the same routine with the Garnier.